Your lips are dry, they're crusty, they're bleeding, you're dehydrated, you look at the time, it's happy hour. Well, you're in the right place, because I'm about to show you how to make the caramel edition of the Greyhound. Let's go, baby. Today's ingredients are clear cut. All you're going to need is a bottle of gin and that zesty magical goodness, pink ting. Ingredients from the earth itself, we're looking at a grapefruit and a lemon. We're going to be squeezing the grapefruit juice into our blend and using a wedge from our lemon as the garnish. We're gonna be throwing today's blend into a Collins. But hey, if you like your Greyhound in other glasses, do you, boo. Now let's make this sexy. It's magic. All right, let's start wilding out with our ingredients. First, you're gonna pour in two ounces of your gin. After this, you're gonna take a half a grapefruit and squeeze the juices into your shaker. Now, hey, if you're addicted to the bitter taste, you can squeeze another half in, add even more zing to your drink. It's up to you. This is where you can customize that outcome. Now let's go and shake those demons off. Get it, get it, get it. Whip it, whip it, whip it. Yeah, buddy, oh. Let's get your ice in. Is that boy using the force? Let's get your strainer on. We're gonna pour the blend into the glass about halfway up. Then you're gonna add ting over top until it nears the top of the glass. We're getting close to the end. Now you just need to grab your lemon, slice yourself a wedge out of it, and then we're gonna throw that in your drink for the garnish. So that's my take on the Greyhound. Super simple to make. I love the addition of ting. It adds that extra zing, makes the drink a lot sharper than it should be, and it hides that alcohol perfectly. Take a sip and love life.